joining me. Alicia Duffy here. I am going to give you a quick tour of the property. This is 1901 Blanchard McKinney and I'll do a video clip of the outside too because it's a corner lot so there's a lot of space. Um, so you walk in and they have a, a study here that could also be you know a, a bedroom that doesn't have a closet so it's not technically a bedroom but uh, someone could make it a, a playroom or something like that. So when you walk in you have the the dining room here, the formal dining, and a half bath, which is good. That's a good starting point. Uh, the master is down on this property. It's listed at 342, and it was originally 359.9. And I wanted to show you in here, we would, on the sell part, have to ask them to either finish out. Uh, that area, I'm assuming that they were just trying to make it a little bit bigger and then they just didn't finish, so that's not a big deal. Uh, this is the family room, everything looks good. Uh, the kitchen is nice, it's got the grand countertop, uh, the refrigerator, the appliances. It was built in 2005 and it's sitting at 3,138 square feet, which is very large. So all the comps I pulled, um, we had about 20. And I narrowed those down by the ones that match this property with the five bedroom, three bath. And with that, it, it is, you know, kind of underpriced. When you look at it over all 20 of them, comparing it to four bedrooms, it's, uh, it's about average. But the other three that had sold were a little bit newer, but uh, they sold at 350, 365, and 371. This is a two car garage, it's got separate. and it's nice because it has the silver instead of the ugly brass which was popular in the early 2000s. Uh, now we get somebody right in. The only thing we're going to look at upstairs is there's a little bit of uh, paint right here like something uh, you know like if the if the roof pops it's right there then that could be you know an old repair from the roof but we'll make sure that there's not a bathroom right above it. annual HOA dues of 210 and that's for a community pool which renters would like. So game room with a closet and then we have two more bedrooms over here with the bathroom to share. Fancy fan for a
So I don't think that the bathroom right here is over that area downstairs. So it's probably from the previous roof roof replacement, but because uh, it looks like it's an older stone. So on this side, there's two more uh, bedrooms, and they also share a bath. The bathrooms look like they've been uh, really updated as well. These bedrooms are kind of, you know, they look very small, but it's pretty typical of this area, 12 by 10, 11 by 10. Uh, but the closets are really big. It's a bonus. So it looks like a good property. They obviously, they started way too uh, high on their price, and that's why they set on the market, because they overbought it. And so instead of having up in the attic, they have their um, air conditioning units here. And we can't even, sometimes, or usually in the upstairs, there's the attic that you can pull down and, and go up into, typically for uh, the, the furnace and stuff. But here they have it where you'd have to have a ladder, so it's not easily accessible, but there's lots of uh, closets, so. Overall, looks like a good property. Uh, it's a good subdivision, and I'll take some video around there, but it looks good to me. So I'm going to do on the next video, uh, Tamil is going to talk about the leasing of the property. So have a good day. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye. Hey, Andy, it's Tamala, and um, we are just going to kind of show you the outside of the property now and kind of let you know about the lease comps. Um, basically, what we're finding is the minimum is running about $18.95. The average is about $2,200. Um, the max is about $2,500. And um, this one is a five bedroom. Most of the ones in the same neighborhood that I pulled up comps for are actually only a four bedroom. Um, so that is a plus on this property. Um, plus the hardwood floors inside are great for tenants. Um, the only place they have carpet downstairs is in the master bedroom carpet all upstairs it's new it's in great condition um, and so as she's kind of showing you some of the things outside I'll let her tell you a little bit more about that well I was gonna tell you too that the so the AC unit uh, that's a large unit and it's fairly new I haven't seen any cracks or, or anything like that that would suggest uh, foundation problems all the windows look good none of them are really pulling away I mean it's got a massive side yard I don't know what you would do with it, play football, I guess. Yeah, the fence is nice, board on board. So that looks fairly new as well. Um, looking just to make sure, but yeah, I don't see anything. And did you tell them about the, uh, the ones that you? Oh, that I went and looked at. I did yeah. go look at some of the comps today and there's one that's been on the market for quite a while. I think it was like a hundred and some days, but when I went in and saw it, it's got all carpet, it has major pet odor, it needs a lot of work in the interior, um, so I know that's the main reason it's still on the market. Um, there was another one that had been on for a while, but the tenant actually stayed longer in the residence, so um, it just now became available, so I think it will release pretty quickly, but other than that, um, it's got great comps, and they've pretty much all gone very quickly in the neighborhood. Well, let us know if you have any other questions. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye, Bye. Andy. Bye. Uh -huh. Beautiful. And we have this park walking trail over here. Continue one quarter of a mile on the current road. So, this pool. 